What's up guys, this episode we're diving into the solid design principles again. This time we're talking about the second topic, which is the open closed principle. Here at the top, I've got that written out. It basically states that software entities should be open for extension, but closed for modification. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that you should be able to add new functionality to your application without having to edit the existing code, especially when you're adding um, some new similar functionality. So let's take a look at that. Well, I have a class here from Hatchbox that you could imagine when I need to create a server, you choose your provider and we need to be able to tell that provider, whether it's DigitalOcean or Linode or Vulture or AWS, any of those options, they need to be able to create a server and add an SSH key and sync their status. So I need to be able to do all those three things on every single one of those. And at first you might say, well, let's say, let's just do a case statement. And you say, give me the provider and when it's DigitalOcean, we can run our droplet kit code to um, create the droplet, create the SSH key, those things. Um, and then when you give me Linode, we could do the same thing with Linode's API. Um, and when you do Vulture, you could do the same thing with Vulture's API. So this makes it that I have to edit the server class every single time I want to add a new provider, but that doesn't really make for good maintainable code. This is going to change a lot and it's going to end up breaking at some point because I'll make mistake in there. So what we want to do is extract out an interface so that we can interact with these um, all kind of in their own abstract way. And so there's a lot of different options on how to do this. I'm going to show you a couple and we'll talk about those. And I'm going to show you an example from Rails, how this works as well in a different way.